you've summarized them pretty well in the broader perspectives. And like you rightly pointed out, Dr. Gupta, there are a lot of subsets and a lot of other conditions that go under each broader classification, I'm sure. But what we all understand is this this is a discussion we, we want to avoid. Uh, like you rightly said, we want to prevent and screen as much as possible and help the patient not get into the diabetic stage from the pre-diabetes stage. Um, this is a discussion for the later times, but uh, the fact is um, you see a lot of patients in your clinic, I'm sure. Um, a lot of our students get trained under you. May I ask you, um, do you think the amount of screening that happens wherever it is, wherever the patients are coming from, do you think that is enough or do you think we need to do more? No, no, it's, it's highly inadequate. I think I think uh, over a period of time in the last 20 years, I've been with Apollo. And I think uh, Apollo is one of the pioneers in uh, in preventive health checkups in the in, in the country. And Jay. I think, for example, I can tell you about Delhi. In Delhi, Apollo, we have around 100 odd patients undergoing a screening every day. Mm. Now, 100 odd in Apollo, and Apollo is a pioneer. You can imagine mm. what school population yeah. we're looking at actually. And yeah. uh, all the all the hospitals in India, the, all the centers, private. So I think it's a little bit. Uh, on the mass base which people also uh, need to kind of go through but i think it's a lot to do with individual doctors also i think an indi individual clinician can go a long way in trying to kind of uh, uh, run through uh, screening uh, profiles in most of the patients fortunately the cost for screening mm. have gone down quite a lot i think now right. in, every, in every place in india i think you can you can get a series of tests done uh, for for not that much of an amount i think for 1500 2000 rupees uh, probably right. one and there were a lot of checkups which are, which are available with us because of the mass base of all these. So I think right. it's still minuscule, but but I think that started and people have started to kind of doing it. Quite a few times patients who are educated and especially in big cities, they undergo such checkups on their own. And even right. if they are, they are told to, to get a few tests done because of whatever clinical condition they have, and they are kind of sold the packages that why don't you undergo all this at the same cost, etc. And sometimes you pick up on those also. So the answer to your right. question no as of now it's far far away from uh, what is an ideal yeah. situation but but i think this the beginning is already there right right I, so I that's also, what I'm, sorry, I'm sorry i also must make a mention people think that you know these are uh, diabetes is a more uh, urban disease but i think that's not sure it's, i think it's rural yeah. urban it's just that pickup rates in urban areas started early, yeah but now probably yeah the, the pickup rates are as good or as bad as anywhere else so no, I agree with you totally. Yeah, sure. Please go ahead. So the divide is much less now, and the pickup rates are there everywhere, actually. So it's a pan India kind of thing. And it's not about north, south, east, west, whatever. I think uh, I go and do clinics in Guwahati, and I've been to some other places as well. And I think all over, I think this uh, this is really a pandemic, uh, which is there in our country. I think diabetes is there to stay. Right, right. I agree with you totally, Dr. Gupta. So um, we also work with part of certain organizations which do screening and preventive health checks in rural areas here and down south. I'm talking about Andhra Telangana, just as an example. Um, it was an eye opener for us five years ago when we started taking part in these uh, camps that it, it surprised us and shocked us to see that we see we saw as many patients get screened uh, in the rural areas. I'm talking about really remote villages and all kinds of populations who've been diagnosed with diabetes and many of them already into complications. Uh, so, yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, I don't um, agree that, you know, it's just an urban disease. It's not anymore. So you've rightly put now that we know that uh, it's there everywhere. And uh, like you've mentioned in the beginning of the session, we are probably uh, absolutely we are the world's second, um, you know, we stand second in the world next to China in terms of diabetic uh, burden, disease burden. Uh, now, we've just uh, agreed on the fact that we don't have enough screening and uh, preventive uh, programs going on or it's not enough, whatever we are doing. You think there is a role for every uh, clinician or physician can they play a role in handling and managing the situation better? When I say clinician, it could be anybody and everybody who's a healthcare professional, a clinician in any kind of a setting, doesn't have to be in a city. And they could be qualified as anything. You could be an anesthesiologist or a physician or endocrinologist or even a gynecologist. Can you please comment on that fact, uh, Dr. Gupta? Can trained professionals uh, make a difference? I think I think the role of the primary care physician cannot be overemphasized. I think ultimately the big hospitals, the tertiary level centers, the big referral places, they have a role to play. Of course, they have a role to play. But it's a primary care physician who is the most yeah. important cog in the wheel, actually. 
Now, you know, right. we, have been, and we have been doing these programs and we have been doing this uh, adversity programs in our hospital for many years. Classes have been taken. Quite a few of our doctors are the ones who have come from pathology, pharmacology. So I was saying that we have been doing these programs in our hospital for last so many years, uh, all the adversity programs in which these diabetes right. programs we are doing. And quite a few doctors come from the background of pathology, pharmacology, non-clinical. And yeah. it's always a, uh, of interest to kind of see that what's happening on the other side. And they want to use that knowledge in their own practice, uh, more, more, more or less, uh, per se. The primary care physician, I think, is the most important cog in the wheel in the whole scenario. And I think a good clinician can pick up things at an early stage. Uh, he has a trust of the, fam of the family. He has a trust of the community. Right. He is the first point of uh, approach in a, in, a, in a community, basically. And I think it cannot be uh, said any less that if a primary care physician is aware of the fact that a diabetes mm. can be picked up by simple tests or he applies his mind to kind of doing a screening which can help us in picking up such rates. I think half the job is done. Mm. And then I think that's a beginning of a real long relationship. I think if a primary care physician picks up a diabetes in a patient, that patient is his for life. I mean, he'll be, mm. he'll be so glad something has been picked up at a stage in which probably can nip it in the butt by, by medicines right. or whatever. So I think primary care physician right. is extremely important in the whole approach. Right, right. And I think in a way it will uh, help uh, consultants and clinicians like you who are sitting in the tertiary care probably handle the cases that you get better because if there is a well handled patient who eventually maybe, you know, uh, end up in a complication but come to you, it's rather a better scenario than having somebody directly reach you because that we see that a lot as well here, even in tertiary care here down south as well, wherein patients come with, you know, end stage diseases and complications. Uh, maybe a simple uh, screening tool at the right time, like you said, identifying a red flag at the right time probably would have saved us a lot of the efforts and it would have made uh, efforts of the tertiary care physicians easier as well. So I think we all need to work together as a network wherever we are placed. Like you rightly said, it starts with the primary care physician and uh, the, the chain, the link does go uh, upwards.